Hi guys, I have a word of encouragement for you for the year 2022 uh, and I've titled it Signs of Light. Now in 2021, the Lord spoke to me and said 2021 was the year of the bride and I was amazed to see um, how this message of Jesus as our bridegroom king was taken up by so many ministries. Um, there were conferences and meetings on that topic and online courses and this message was just broadcasted to the body of Christ so that we could be built up in our bridal identity and I believe that this is going to continue but this year the Lord has given me specifically the title Sons of Light and I'm going to explore this word with you guys starting with reading from 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 5 and I've got quite a few scriptures that I've prepared And 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 5 reads, You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. So if we are sons of light, then naturally our father is the father of light because we are made in his image. We are a new creation and um, he, you know, we carry his spiritual DNA. So... In James 1 verse 17, it reads, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. A really <laughs> packed verse there. Could meditate on it for days but exactly what um, I mentioned before we are the sons of God who is the father of light therefore we are sons of light now even of Jesus it was said that in him there was light right in him there was life and light that's in the book of John and I really like the way um, the amplified the amplified version has it um, it said that in him, in Jesus, there was life. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness. And the darkness did not understand it or overpower it or appropriate it or absorb it. I mean, come on. Amplified. <laughs> so, exactly. So we are made in the image of God. We are like Jesus. We are in the image of Jesus and we are the sons of light, the believers that is. Now, what you'd notice in even these three verses is there was this um, a parallel between the light and the darkness. The sons of light, not the sons of darkness. Um, the father of light who doesn't even cast a shadow and Jesus the light whom the darkness did not comprehend. Now, if we look at Isaiah 60, it talks about it, this darkness. And this is a verse that everybody knows. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to read it anyway. I know that a lot of people know this off by heart. It's Isaiah 60 verse 1. And it goes, Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, the deep and deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. The gentle shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. So these are the sons of light. <laughs> Amen. So good. These are the sons of light. Yeah, the sons of God who shine, who shine in the darkness, in the deep darkness, they shine. And they draw men unto them and into the kingdom. And they are also called to shine over the kingdoms of the earth. Now, there's a, there's a passage in Daniel that I really, really like. Um, well, I like the whole book of Daniel. But there's, there's a verse, sorry, there's a verse that I really like. And it's in Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. So Daniel receives a visitation from a heavenly being or a heavenly man 
very extravagant looking and he comes to to give Daniel interpretation for the visions that he's been having and chapter 12 in the in the new king james it's titled the the title of the whole chapter is prophecy of the end time but i'm going to focus on just verse three which reads those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forevermore so those who are wise shall shine brightly like the firmament. And I believe that these are the sons of light that the Lord is raising up on the earth this year. Because this is a 2022 word. I'm believing for it. And they are filled with such wisdom. And, you know, the wisdom of the ages, the wisdom of God. That they are illuminated. They're literally illuminated by this wisdom. And they will be sought after for their spiritual intelligence, for their problem-solving capabilities, um, their discernment, their prophetic strategies. They will be sought after not only within the body, but also outside of the body. You know, the world is dealing with so many things, you know, climate change, immigration, the economy, poverty, health and, and sickness, and these, these types of topics. So I believe that the Lord is raising up these sons of light filled with wisdom and they will be placed in, in these sectors, in these areas. They'll be given offices and they will be known as the sons of God in these places. And they will uh, be able to give wisdom to world leaders regarding these types of issues. So think about Daniel and Joseph. You know, the, the, these are the, these sons of light will be like them now it also the verse also talks about those who turn many into oh, into righteousness so the sons of light are called to the kings the kings will come to their brightness but they are also called to the gentiles or the unbelievers in this case and it says that they will turn many to righteousness who will shine like stars forever and ever so, uh, the sons of light they will shine like stars forever and ever so i believe that these are the harvesters that are going forth and basically what they do is they go into the great darkness and they turn the gaze of the people who are continually facing the darkness and they turn their gaze so that they face the sun of righteousness and this is where the translation from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light occurs when they receive salvation they receive jesus christ as their lord and savior so those are the two types so those who are filled with wisdom illuminated by wisdom and those who are harvesting and trans and, and bringing the gospel to translate the peoples of the earth from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light okay now you guys remember the story or well, story you remember what happened to moses when he came down from mount sinai after being with the with the lord of, after being with god for 40 days and 40 nights he came down and his face was illuminated it was shining um so you can reread this again in do you do not no in exodus again okay. In Exodus 34, from verse 29, and it's titled The Shining Face of Moses. So, now it was so, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, and the two tablets of the testimony were in Moses' hand when he came down from the mountain, that Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him, while he talked with God. So when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone and they were afraid to come near him. And so <laughs> Moses had to put on a veil to hide his face because the, the children of Israel were so afraid. I mean, that's amazing. This is real, guys. This is so real. 
and it's not just for Moses it's for us the sons of God in 2 Corinthians 3 18 it tells us how we can be the shining ones it's really easy actually so 2 Corinthians 3 18 and I'm going to read it from the passion because I love the way it's put there it reads we can all draw close to him with the veil removed from our faces and with no veil we all become like mirrors who brightly reflect the glory of the Lord Jesus. We are being transfigured into his very image as we move from one brighter level of glory to another. And this glorious transfiguration comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. So Moses on the mountain with God 40 days, 40 nights comes back with a shining face. We in our prayer closet in our secret place gazing upon jesus daily are becoming transfigured the transfiguration takes place in the secret place it takes place in face-to-face -face communion with the lord we are going to be shining ones guys it's time for us to shine amen now Okay, in my notes, I also have Philippians 2, 14 to 16, where it says, We, the children of God, are to shine as light in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation. Now, you know, we know the days of Noah are going to come back. The days of Lot. So, you know, how much more crooked and perverse are the generations becoming? We need to shine, guys. We need to shine. Now, um, another thing that the Lord was talking to me about was traveling at the speed of lies. And I really want to honor Dr. Bruce Allen and Michael von Flamen, who have brought these teachings about translation by faith into the body. The teachings are easily accessible on YouTube and I recommend the books as well. But they teach on translation and translocation by faith. Translation being your spirit being taken by the Lord to another location um, and your body uh, remains behind. And translocation being your spirit and your body being taken to another part of your city, region, even to the other side of the earth um, for the purposes of the gospel. Now the best example of translocation that we can Find in the word is in Acts 8 when Philip finishes baptizing the Ethiopian he gets taken up by the spirit and I think he gets taken to a, a town I read somewhere it was 30 miles away but don't hold me on that um, but this is you know this is what we this is what the sons of light are going to be operating in traveling by the speed of light and this is so needed now you know just in the in the in the current situation we in we see how travel restrictions and regulations have hindered our um, movements uh, across the globe so we though the sons of light we because we operate from that realm of light you know we operate from that realm of uncreated light so we can travel within the blink of, blink of an eye so expect that to happen to you if you are cultivating your secret place and you are being transfigured in your prayer closet expect to start being taken um, by the will of the spirit for the purposes of the kingdom to different locations on the earth okay it's going to be a year of translation come on um and the Lord also reminded me about a dream I had a while ago regarding healing. Now, in the dream, I saw a tent meeting taking place. And there was a minister of God who was preaching and he was praying for healing for people. And I was able to witness one of the healings up close. Like I could zoom in in the dream. And they had brought a man to him whose forearm, it was ravaged like there was no flesh on his forearm there was nothing there it was diseased it was wasted away and i saw how this man of god put his hand on 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 the person that was being prayed for 
he prayed for him and when he removed his hand i saw how his flesh was there was flesh but it was light it looked like it looked like an arm but it was completely made out of light and then the light converted and became like flesh like flesh as we know it and i was like whoa what was that and the lord said to me that we are going to see healing miracles taking place like we've never seen them before and the sons of light are going to be using light power or creative light to recreate um uh, to recreate body parts or to heal diseases they're going to be operating using light power and these are the kinds of healing miracles we are going to see guys and i am you know i'm believing that this is going to be happening already this year amazing signs and wonders using light power and the last thing i wanted to to talk about was um in my encounters in some of my encounters with the lord it started last year where he would start speaking to me using the language of light and even angels and other beings that i would encounter in heavenly places would speak in the language of light and that means they would open up their mouths and no sound would come out like words as we know it but just light would come out of their mouths and it would come on me and uh, and i would receive understanding and knowledge so the light they were they were emitting was um carrying information and what's so cool is i listened to an interview alberto rivera was being interviewed you might know his music really amazing and he said that at the highest frequencies sound turns into light so and that makes so much sense because you know think about language words what what are what what are words actually it's just sounds that we've put together and they have a meaning and we've put, attached the meaning to them but if you hear a language that you're not used to like chinese or or zulu you know like my my mother tongue zulu for example my surname is ngoko that that it's a sound right so the language you know it's just it's just sounds that are put together and given a meaning and when you hear chinese you just you know you just hear sounds but you won't understand but now imagine speaking at such a high frequency that the sounds coming out of your word out of your mouth are coming out as light and i think this is one of the heavenly languages and um we're going to be seeing that we're going to be seeing the sons of light operating in um wisdom operating in um um in healing miracles using light power speaking words of light you know it's going to be amazing they are going to be illuminated bright shining ones just like moses and they are going to bring in the greatest harvest that we've ever seen. Yeah. So another quite a quick, fun little thing. Um, twenty twenty two, right? Um, the number twenty two in the Hebrew alphabet. There's twenty two letters, and the word of God is known as um, a lamp or a light unto our feet. So bask in the word. You know. <laughs> Just bask in the word and receive light, be transformed, and be renewed. And yeah, so, yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so I hope that blesses you guys and makes you excited for the coming year. We are going to be shining in the great darkness. Um, so let me just pray quickly. Father, I just thank you that you are raising up these sons of light on the face of the earth, those who are going to be operating in divine wisdom and knowledge, Lord, and those who are going to be going into the darkness and harvesting people, harvesting the souls of men and bringing in, 
bring them into the kingdom of light i thank you lord as well that we are going to see a huge outbreak of um, light miracles light healing miracles in jesus name yes lord and i thank you for spiritual travel supernatural travel that is also going to be a normal for the body of christ for the sons of light thank you lord that the sons of light are being raised up to be a sign and a wonder in jesus name thank you lord amen